if you see this playback error media license on your tesla then i will guide you on how to fix this issue since a lot of people are facing this problem at the moment as you can see a lot of people are facing when playing this on apple music they got a playback error media license on their tesla so this issue a lot of apple music users on their tesla are facing so i'll guide you through all the necessary steps in order to fix this problem so follow these steps very carefully apple music playback error media license on tesla so step one reboot the car and see if it fixes the issue so try to turn off your tesla and then wait for a few minutes then turn back it on to reboot the car and then you can try to play a song to see if it fixes the problem if you're still facing the same issue then try sign out wait for a few minutes and then sign in back again so you can try to sign out of out of your apple music account and then sign in back again and try to check if it fixes the issue you can also go to settings on a tesla screen just cancel the apple music app and then on your home screen go to settings on the home screen of your tesla just go to settings display change touch screen language and then put to put it in any language doesn't matter what language just change it to back after that change it to back to your preferred language this will reset and force you to sign back in again so just go to settings on your home screen display change the screen language doesn't matter what language is and change it back again to your preferred language this will reset and force you to sign back in again so this is also should work so follow this step very carefully if you do so but you're still facing the same problem update your tesla software so if you go to tesla website will it will show you all the necessary step now to update your tesla software since latest updates can fix a lot of bugs including this playback error so try to update your tesla software to the latest version you can check for new updates by opening the software tab on your touch, touch screen so just open the software tab on your touch screen and you'll be able to update if there is any update just up, if there is any new updates just update your touch screen to the latest update and it can fix this problem so if this tutorial has helped you, let me know in the comment section and see you next time.